Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection C, UCS 56. What is PWHT? Our flagship course is Master Static Equipment Design and PV Elite and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform on scutoid.thinkific.com. So, what are the different types? So, like annealing, normalizing, quenching, tempering, solution annealing, and then post welding treatment. Now, some of you have also used stress relieving, you know. Have you any time seen stress relieving being used in Section 8, Division 1? Have you any time seen? Akash is saying yes. Where you have seen that word stress living, Akash? One should know. So that word specifically had not been used, the stress living. Okay, but now if we see basically why we are doing post value treatment to relieve the stresses, right? And that is what stress living is also, right? But code here covers even though stress living now where see post validated treatment terms we are using for what yeah you are going to the right point manoj and you know akash so pwst's word is directly related to what welding right post weld heat treatment right so we are trying to relieve the residual stresses which have been created because of welding right now there can be other residual stresses right yes praveen so there can be other stress raisers like what like you guys said if my fiber elongation is exceeding when i'm doing a forming where fiber elongation is very high that means that fiber is getting stretched that will be in stress that part will be in stress, right? So if we want to relieve that stress, I'll have to do stress relieving. Can I call that as post value treatment? If like I have formed a T-shirt and there is fiber elongation, okay? And I'm doing heat treatment to relieve the stresses of, because of that fiber elongation. Can I call it as post value treatment? Actually, no, because see, the term post weld treatment is related to weld. There is no weld. We are trying to relieve the stresses because of fiber elongation. So, if you read the code carefully, UCS 79, you will find that what code is saying you have to perform heat treatment. It does not talk about post weld treatment, but what it says you have to perform heat treatment. And you have to refer the cycle, which is given in UCS 56. So for cycle, what cycle to be followed? For that, we are referring the same cycle, which we are referring for post well heat treatment. Okay. But that heat treatment is not PWST. It's a stress relieving. The code does not call it as stress relieving, but it's calling heat treatment only. So we can use that word heat a uh, stress living but then the cycle will have to take from ucs 56 okay i hope it's making sense too okay great so now pwst is what we are going to focus so what is post weld heat treatment and why it is required okay let's briefly touch that so post welding treatment you know you no know, it's a heat treatment cycle we are trying to heat below that recrystallization there are first recrystallization temperature and there is second recrystallization temperature so we call it critical temperature so two critical temperature first critical temperature and second critical temperature below first critical temperature there will be a zone a band where that recrystallization will happen okay so we are trying to heat our material 
below the first critical line okay so that we don't want to change the property of our material we just want to relieve the stresses so if we are able to do the recrystallization then the stresses will be relieved so for that we are trying to do heat treatment so definitely if i have to do heat treatment i need to go to a furnace right the furnace will be required so either a furnace or i do local i locally create a furnace that is also possible if i have to do very local sim if i have to do post weld treatment so now there are certain rates which i have to maintain for post weld treatment there is a temperature difference certain temperature difference which need to be maintained between the parts okay so that we don't exceed the value which is mentioned we'll see that what is the limitations and all okay so typically what is post weld treatment cycle we heat our material in furnace we hold that for some time so that the recrystallization which we intended there is time for that okay so complete recrystallization will happen and then we'll cool it down okay so that is what is actually post weld treatment okay so heating then holding which is also called soaking okay and then cooling it down okay this is our post weld treatment now why we have to do post weld treatment we already discussed because of welding there are residual stresses which are getting generated absolutely right so that will reduce my material properties that it, it may form a crack okay? it may fail earlier than what was intended okay so if you want to relieve that stresses you know which are already there in the material then i can do the i can heat them in the recrystallization temperature so that recrystallization will happen and then whatever residual stresses are already there that will be relieved yes agash some hardness also the surface if it become very hard that also can be relieved okay so unnecessary hardness will go down so all that can be achieved by post weld treatment for in depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description